In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your social stream ninja chat box. The one that you usually use to highlight comments from different platforms, either YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitch, it doesn't matter. Now, if you're not using it, you wanna make sure you check it out. I'm gonna leave a link down below to the video to show you how to set it up from start to finish. However, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to customize it. Usually the actual usual look or the default look is gonna be kind of yellow or uh, orange-ish and black and white, something like this. However, I'm gonna show you how to transform it to actually match your actual brand. So as you can see, my studio is kind of purple, uh, blue and orange kind of look. And I've been able to customize mine to look exactly like my studio or to match my studio. However, I have other different looks. As you can see, I was able to design this look as well and this look as well and this look as well. And you can design your own look that will match your actual brand. So let's not take much time. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? My name is Sammy watching live production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So. The first thing you need to do, obviously, I encourage you to have in mind uh, what you actually want to achieve. What's the end goal or the look of your chat box is going to look like. So as you can see, what I did personally, I used Photoshop. You can use any other design software. It could be Canva. It could be anything you want. OK, you want to have an idea. If you don't want to design, it doesn't matter. OK, but I do encourage you to design it first and kind of have an idea of what's going to look like. So. I took a screenshot of my videos and I kind of color picked uh, some of the colors from my actual studio. And then I put that into Photoshop and I came up with the design that kind of matched the look of my studio. So this is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do now, I have my chat tool right now. I'm using the extension uh, kind of version. If you want to use the application, it's actually out uh, either for Windows or Mac. And I've tried it. I'm still learning how to use it, but I'm super comfortable with the uh, extension because I've been using it for many years and works well for me. So now what you need to do. So basically I have everything set up in OBS. And then what we need to do is because what we're working on really is this part of the chat. OK, so as you can see, if I click here, I have this look that's kind of different. As you can see, my colors are all different. And this is what I'm going to show you guys how to do. OK, so as you can see. It looks uh, kind of awesome, it matches my studio and I kind of love it. Okay, so what we need to do now, basically you need to go to the chat tool, the extension right now it's open here in, uh, you know, my Chrome browser. So I need to go here, make sure it's always active. And if it's not updated, make sure it's actually up to date. And then what we need really is the featured chat overlay. This is the one that we need to work on okay so this link is gonna be updated as we make some changes so the first thing i actually it has so many settings that you're gonna go through but for today we're gonna be working on just a look okay so we're gonna go here to styling this is where we're gonna spend most of the time and if you wanted to another thing that i toggled here is under visibility i make sure the show source icon so if your chat is coming from youtube or instagram or whatever source is coming from i made sure it, it actually was turned on because i want to make sure i see that on the chat this is a personal preference you can toggle it or not uh, another thing of course is going to be on styling and i made sure uh i toggled align comment on the top I toggled round edges just to make sure the chat kind of chat bubble is going to be kind of round on the edges. Also reduce font size if messages get too long. So if you have a super long message, you want to make sure you toggle this uh, so that it kind of, you know, you know, it just fits within the box. Uh, but other than that, everything else is going to happen here under colors. OK, so here's what I encourage you to do. The easy way to do it. Now, I'm going to reset everything to do something like black here and then maybe i'm gonna uh, reset this to yellow and then what i'm gonna do is every time you make some changes here you want to make sure you copy source uh, you copy this link here okay and then uh, again i go here i clear all the messages and i trigger new messages so i go back to obs this is just for demo purposes okay so i go back to obs and i update this link right here okay Again, if you don't know how to do this, I have another video showing you how to set up all this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to link it down below for you guys. 
okay so now the link is updated as you can see the look has changed okay now the look is yellow and black which usually this is the actual default look of this uh chat kind of box okay so now i'm gonna show you how to change this back to my preferred look okay so we have photoshop open right now and this is my look that i want to achieve and then i'm gonna open google chrome as well side by side so you guys can see both i'm gonna open the chat tool and i'm gonna go to featured under featured chat overlay which is the one we're working on and i'm gonna go to styling okay so now we're gonna do is we have comment font color comment font color usually is this one right here which is as you can see it's white so we leave it white and then comment background color this is the actual background so in our case it's kind of purple pink ish okay so what you need to do is you go here you click under this color thing now the secret is really this little color picker okay you can go ahead and choose any color you want here as you can see you have the whole color wheel here but if you want to be super precise uh, about your colors you want to go and grab the exact color from your chat box that you have designed it before Okay, this could be a picture. This could be, it doesn't have to be in Photoshop. It could be just a JPEG picture. It could be something you, you get directly from your actual studio color. So it doesn't have to, you know, be designed like what I did, but I just want to give you an idea. So go to Photoshop, pick this exact color, and then boom, the, as you can see, I get the code in there. And then I go to default name font color. This is for the font. Again, for this one, it's just white. So you don't have to get the color code for white. You should just go in the corner here. And then the name background color, which is going to be this purple, actual purple. The, the, the other one was pink. So you go here again, and then you get the color picker. And then you come over here. Make sure you got the color here. Just click on it, and it's going to bring it back in here. As you can see, we got the code now. So everything looks good. Now, if you want to change the font family, you can go here and then uh, pick any font that you like in here. Uh, personally, uh, I like, uh, again, let's, let's just try Georgia, it's just for an example, uh, or uh, Roboto. It's actually my favorite. That's the one that I wanted to use. You can also type a specific Google font name in here. I haven't tried it. This could be something you could actually try and let me know down below in the comments how it actually went. Once you're done, we have all, all our color in here. What we need to do is we have to go ahead and copy the link again. Okay, so we need to, because every time you make changes, the link is going to be updated with the new values. And I'm going to clear all the messages that I had back in OBS. And then I'm going to trigger other fake messages this is just for demo purposes if you were live because every time you change like the next messages after the change that's where the changes are going to take effect if you know what i mean all right so that's it so i got all the messages that i need now we, we're gonna go back to obs now we should have everything and then i'm gonna go to the chat uh source here go to property and i'm gonna replace with the new link so i'm gonna go here uh, and paste and then boom and then as you can see if i click now we have the look the new look as you can see the messages are looking a little different my friends you can see that it's exactly what i have in obs and it matches the look of my studio as you can see you can change to any color that you want i mean like you just have the controls guys okay you can make it look the way you want customize it the way you want and have all the colors match your exact studio or exact you know brand now another thing you can do actually to make the whole thing match your brand is to add overlays so basically as you can see i have an overlay here uh, around my uh camera and basically it is this one right here so this is a background that i have like supplied to to the picture right if i remove it as you can see it doesn't really look attractive so a combination of my studio look and the chat tool matching with the overlay actually makes me look more professional and the best place to get overlay is actually to go to streamtools.com uh, stream tools with a z that come this is where you can actually find all the overlays uh, including countdown timers 
and animated overlays of course uh, either you want animated overlays or static overlays you're gonna be able to find overlays that will actually match the look of your brand so i'm just gonna give you an example if you click to this one you can see if you have you're gonna have guests on your stream uh, you can have you know those overlays and layouts ready for you if you're gonna be solo doing solo like this is a cool overlay that you can actually try um you have demos you have some countdown timers and stuff like that uh to be able to start your stream so go to streamtools.com guys get those overlays and a uh, combine with you know this custom look bubble chat and of course if you want to learn how to set up everything if you're a new or a beginner uh, i have a video that i have made actually showing you step by step how to set up a full obvious show starting from your countdown timer kind of scene to adding guests um adding your chat box that I, what we just did uh adding you know inviting guests by sending them a link for free using a tool called um video ninja and all the other tools i need to actually build a full obs show including your audio and desktop audio everything guys okay you need you're gonna find it in that video and the video is gonna be linked right here so make sure you check it out guys and i will see you there take care guys